Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 15, verses 9 to 11. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. In today's rather short passage, Jesus sums up the entire method of living a fulfilling and worthy Christian life, which is keeping true to His commandments. And from Matthew's Gospel, we know that the two most important commandments of Jesus is to love God with all our heart, soul, and mind, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. But here's the thing. These two guidelines are by no means an easy task, because by our nature, we carry within us whatever brokenness that fogs up our ability to see how perfectly we are loved by God. It is this obscurity that makes us doubt just how precious we are, and sadly, this is oftentimes projected onto others. So whenever we encounter someone who is nasty to us for no apparent reason, please know that it is because he or she is under the misconception that they are unlovable. And I find this pithy saying quite representative to live out these two simple yet challenging commandments of Jesus. And it goes something like this. The good news is, is that God loves you. But the bad news is, is that God loves everyone else just the same. But the better aware we are of God's radical and unconditional love within us, the easier it will be to love our neighbor despite how difficult they may be. So as we are trying to navigate these very tense and unsettling times, let us first hold true to the fact that no matter what we have done, God's love of us will remain unshaken. And through this practice, the second commandment of Jesus, that is, to love our neighbors as ourselves, will follow suit naturally. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and loving day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.